Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making number 29 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. I've got summer on my mind and I'm making this square today. It's called the Desert Shell Granny Square and you can find the written pattern on my blog at yarnutopia.com. This one is so beautiful. We are making this with shell stitches and we're making spike stitches as well, making extended double crochets in the spike design. This is such a fun pattern and it's actually worked up very fast for me, so I hope you like the square today. The colors I'm using today are all Red Heart Super Saver yarns and these are, I'm just using five different colors today. You can use as many colors as you want, um, but I'm just using a size 4 medium worsted weight yarn and these are just scrap yarns. I just have a basket of scrap yarn and I'm just using those to use them up because I know all the crocheters out there know what a scrap basket is and you guys have it. So we can fill, you know, use up our scraps in this project. Um, before we start, I do want to mention there are links in the description of this video. So there's a link to my blog, yarnutopia.com, where you'll get all 365 days of granny squares, all the information you need, all the types of yarn I'm using, the crochet hook, which I demonstrate in all of them, is an H size crochet hook, which is five millimeters. There you see it. And then there's a yarn needle and a scissors are necessary for this project as well because we're cut our yarn and sew in our ends and those tools come in handy. So all that information is on the blog. There are other links as well. The link to the Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you follow me on both platforms and then share your photos in the comment section on today's post. And then also on Instagram, make sure to hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia so I can see your beautiful beautiful work. And also you can follow me on Snapchat. I'm Yarn Utopia on Snapchat, so you can follow me there as well and snap me a photo of your square today. I'd absolutely love to see it for a few seconds at least. And then also I do want to say a big thank you to my dad, Fouad Osmet, for taking the time to make these videos with us. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos. So make sure you uh, hit that red subscribe button so you can get the update on when he posts our next video. We're posting one every single day this year. So let's Let's get started in making number 29 granny square. Okay, let's start out by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and pull this through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. So let's start out by chaining four. So yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, three, and four. Four. And now we're going to go over to this first chain right here and we're going to slip stitch. So go into this chain, yarn over, pull through and through to make a ring. So now we've created a ring and we can go on to round one. So if you know how to make the magic ring, you can start that way as well. But I'm going to start this way. We're going to chain up three, one, two, and three. And that counts as our first double crochet of this round. Now into the ring, we're going to put two double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. And again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now we're gonna make our corner. So we're gonna chain two, one and two. And now in the ring here, we're going to put three more double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, two, and three. Now we're going to make our next corner. We're going to chain two, one and two, and into the ring we're gonna go with three more double crochets. Whoopsie, don't do that. <laughs> there we go. Put three more double crochets in here. One, two, and three. Then we're gonna make our next corner, so we're gonna chain two, one and two, and then just put three more double crochets into the ring. One, two, and three. And you can see I was working in a round or a circular form around here. Uh, so now you can see it's kind of making a square shape. So we have to finish off the square shape by chaining two, 
one and two, and then slip stitch to this beginning chain of three right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay? Okay, now going on to round two, what we're going to do is turn our work, so we're gonna flip this around, okay? We're gonna work into this chain two space here. So I'm going to actually slip stitch into there, so go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. And then we're going to, so if you want to, you know, you can change color um, and start in any corner, chain two space, but I'm just gonna continue on here. I'm gonna chain up three, one, two, and three. And now we're kind of making the traditional granny stitch. So in this corner, we're going to put two double crochets. Okay, very similar to the last round. Two double crochets, then we're going to chain two, one and two, and in the same corner here, we're going to put two, uh, three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Okay, then we're going to uh, hop to the next here. We're gonna first chain one, so yarn over, pull through, one. We're gonna skip over this grouping of three double crochets here and hop into this next corner, and we're going to put three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet all into this corner. So like I said, very similar to a very basic granny square uh, design. So three, double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. Then chain one, hop to the next corner, and make your corner. So just do that all around. I'm just gonna finish this corner in my last corner, and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round three. When you're finishing this round, make sure to chain one and then slip stitch to your beginning, chain up three. Okay, so right here, one, two, three. Right at the top, just insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook as well. Oops, you get there. There we go. So now, I'm going to fasten off and change color. So I'm going to chain one and cut this yarn, pull it all the way through and pull tight, okay? Now you have a little tiny square if you, you can decide if you want this to be the front or this to be the front, it really doesn't matter. It's just a little tiny like pixel square, it's really cute. And now we're going to uh, change color. So I'm gonna grab a new color and starting in any corner, so I'm gonna go into the chain two corner space here. You want to hook on your color here, pull it through. And then we want to chain up one. So yarn over and pull through. Now in the same corner, we are going to put a single crochet, so go into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we are going to make an extended double crochet working in the chain two space of this corner down in round one. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna yarn over, go way down into there, that chain two corner space from round one, work around all of this work, okay? So back here, we're going to yarn over and pull it through and pull all the way up, just like that. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops, okay? So that is our extended double crochet. Now, we are still gonna work in the chain two space though from round two, so kind of scoot this over so you can see this chain space right here. And we're gonna put a single crochet in this one. So right in on this side of the extended double crochet, we're gonna go in, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, just like that. Lovely. Now we're going to put a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Into the next stitch, a single crochet. Now, in this next step, we want to work a, um, an extended double crochet in the next three stitches from round one. So you can see here these three double crochets from round one. We're gonna put an extended double crochet in each one of those. So yarn over, go down into this first one. You might need to scoot these over to see it right here. Yarn over, go in. Okay, yarn over everything. We're working over this chain one space here. So yarn over, pull through, and then pull up all the way. 
yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's our extended double crochet. So we have to do that in the next two stitches as well. So yarn over, go down into the stitch from round one that we skipped, yarn over, pull through and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And the next stitch down here, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we want to put a single crochet in the next three stitches on round two right here. So right up here, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Next stitch, in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And the next stitch, single crochet. Okay, now in this next corner, we are going to put uh, what we exactly what we did in this corner. So we're going to put a single crochet then we're going to put an extended double crochet into this corner from round one. So yarn over, go down into round one's corner, yarn over and pull through everything. Okay, pull up around everything. Okay, then yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Okay, just like that. And then you can kind of measure this or manipulate it the way you need to be and we need to still put a single crochet into that uh, chain two space from round two so go back into this corner up here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two okay so there's our corner okay so now we're just going to repeat then what we did on this side and this corner for this side each side and each corner around so single crochet in the next three stitches then an extended double crochet in each of the three skipped stitches from round one and then a single crochet into each of the next three stitches on round two and then the corner gets a single crochet an extended double crochet and a single crochet. Okay, so just repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to the next round. All right, I'm just single crocheting in my last three stitches here. And then we want to slip stitch to the first single crochet right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through. Okay, now we can go on to round four. If you're not changing color, slip stitch into this extended double crochet stitch and then chain up three and go on to round four. But I'm actually gonna chain one here and cut this yarn, pull this through and pull tight. I'm going to insert my hook into this extended double crochet stitch in the corner and pick up a different color and then hook that on my hook and pull that through. Okay, and now uh, going on to round four, we're gonna chain up three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. And in the same stitch, we're going to put four double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's one. Go back in for two, three, and four. Okay, so essentially it looks like there's five double crochets because this chain up three counts as a stitch. So there should be five stitches in that first uh, middle or that center uh, extended double crochet in the corner. Now we are going to skip two stitches. Let me see here. Or actually, skipping one stitch, sorry. We're gonna skip this next stitch right here and we're going to single crochet into this next stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then we're gonna skip two stitches here and we're gonna skip this uh, next stitch right here. And in this middle double crochet, this middle extended double crochet is where we're going to put our next uh, shell. So our shells are five double crochets. So yarn over, go into this middle extended double crochet. Okay, so skip these next two single crochets, then skip this next double crochet, and then put five double crochets into this middle extended double crochet. So one, 
two, three, four, and five. Then we're gonna skip the next stitch, this next uh, extended double crochet, and we're gonna skip the next two stitches, okay, this next two uh, single crochets, and we're going to single crochet into the next single crochet here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then we're gonna skip this next single crochet, and in this extended double crochet of this next corner, we're going to put five double crochets in there. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're just going to repeat. So skip this single crochet here and put a single crochet in this next stitch. Then I guess I'll just say skip three stitches. So skip this single crochet, skip this single crochet, and skip this extended double crochet, and put another shell in this next extended double crochet. So the shell stitches are five double crochets in the same stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then just repeat. So skip three stitches and single crochet in the next, then skip one stitch and shell in the next. So just do that all the way around if you need to, if that kind of got a little confusing for you. You can always uh, follow along with the written pattern, but otherwise I'll just meet you up at the end of this round and we'll go on to round five next. All right, I'm just making this last stitch here. We're just gonna single crochet here and then we're gonna skip the last stitch on this round and slip stitch to the chain up three, one, two, three, right of uh, the beginning of this shell. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through. Now, regardless if you're changing color or not, I need you to fasten off. So chain one and cut this yarn, pull it all the way through and pull tight. In this next round, you wanna look at your square like this so you can see your four corners, okay? And this is corner, 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 corner. We're actually gonna start this next round on a side. So wherever three extended double crochets are is where we're gonna start on the side, okay? So we wanna start here, and we're gonna start in the middle double crochet of our shell, okay? So there should be five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna start in the third one, or the middle one, right there. And I'm gonna pick up a new color hook that on my hook, and pull it through. And you know, you can use the same color if you want or a different color, totally up to you. But now we're gonna chain up one, so yarn over, pull through, one. And now we're going to single crochet into the same stitch. So go back in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Now in the next stitch, we're going to single crochet as well. So go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we are going to chain 10, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're gonna skip this next uh, shell stitch here, and we're gonna go to the next side shell stitch. See, this is, this is the next one on the next side of our square. Okay, we're gonna skip the corner and we're gonna go into this next one. And we're going to go into the second stitch of our shell, okay? So skip this first double crochet of the shell, go into the second double crochet of the shell and make a single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're gonna single crochet into the middle double crochet of the shell. So right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to single crochet in this next stitch of this shell. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so there's three single crochets in the middle double crochets here. Then we're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then we're gonna skip the next corner shell right here and we're gonna hop to the next shell here and just repeat. So skip this first double crochet of the shell, go into the second one for a single crochet and single crochet in the middle one and then single crochet in this next one. Okay, so three single crochets over that shell. 
Then we're going to skip this last double crochet on here and this next shell. We're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we're going to hop over this shell here and to this shell and we're going to repeat that. So single crochet in the three middle stitches of the shell. 1, 2, and 3. And then chain your last 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Hop to this next shell here. So we only have two single crochets in this beginning shell. So we're going to single crochet into this stitch right here. Okay, so skip this first double crochet of the shell and go into this stitch, which is our last stitch on this round. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. All right, so this is what it should look like. We're going to now work into these chain 10 spaces and into each one of these single crochets. So I'm not going to change color yet, so I'm just going to chain up three. One, two, three. And we're going to double crochet into this next stitch here. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So we're going on to uh, round six here. In the chain 10 space right here, we're going to put six double crochet, chain two, and six double crochets. Okay, so for a total of 12 stitches in this chain 10 space. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's our double crochet. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, then I'm going to, you can kind of scoot these over, so if you have room, if you need room, then we're going to chain two, one and two, and put six more double crochets into this chain ten space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And there's our corner. So now in these next three single crochets, we're going to put a double crochet in each one of those stitches. So one, two, and three. Just like that. Then we're going to repeat what we've been doing. So in this next chain 10 space, we're going to put six double crochet, chain two, and six double crochet in the chain 10 space. And then we're just going to put one double crochet in each of the next three single crochets and just repeat. So if you need to, like I said, uh, either rewind this video or pause it if I'm going too fast, and then uh, you can follow along with the written pattern as well. Uh, that's linked in the description of this video. So if it gets a little confusing for you, there are other resources to finish this square. But I am going to finish this round and then I'll meet you up for our last round. All right, when you come back around, we still have to put a double crochet into this last stitch on this round. All right, and then we can slip stitch to the first chain up three, one, two, three, right in here. Just go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, at this point you could fasten off and have your lovely square and be done, but I'm going to do one more small round. We're just going to do a single crochet round, so I'm going to fasten off this color. So chain one, cut that, pull it through, pull tight. I'm going to start this next round in the corner. You can start in any stitch or any corner. It does not matter. I'm going to hook on my last color here and chain up one. So yarn over, pull through. Now this is optional. You can chain up three and do a double crochet round, but I'm going to do a single crochet round. So I'm just going to chain up one here. And in the corners, we're putting three single crochets. So one, two, and three. And then in each stitch on the side, it should be uh, 12, 13, 14, 15 stitches. Okay, we should just single crochet in each stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. OK, 
okay? And then in the next corner, we're putting three single crochets in that chain two corner space, just like that. And then just single crochet in the next 15 stitches. And that's the round. So just repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet you up when we're about to fasten off. All right, just finishing my round here, we're going to fasten off. So slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round. So right in here, just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and through, and then we can fasten off. So chain one and cut this yarn, pull that all the way through and pull tight, and then grab your yarn needle, yarn your needle just like that, and then sew in your end. So I like to flip this over and then sew that in underneath these stitches with the corresponding color. And I recommend you sew in all of your ends as you go or when you finish your square, just so that you don't have loose ends, you know, at the end of your big project, whatever you're making, if you're making a blanket or whatever, then your ends will be sewn in. So now you can decide, you know, if you need to block this or not. Um, it should keep its shape, but you want to kind of manipulate it to make it look more square and uniform. But there you have it. Number 29 Granny Square is complete. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this square today. Make sure to check out those links in the description of this video. Link to the written pattern, link to my blog, link to Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you hashtag 365 Days of Granny Squares so I can see your work. I'd love to see your square today and what colors you come up with. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy hooking!